Hello everybody. Welcome to our channel. Today we are discussing the CCNA based interview questions and answers for Cisco Data Center Core Technologies. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this content helpful, please let us know in the comments. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, please refer to the link given in the description. Our question is, what are Ansible roles and how they can they be used to organize and structure automation tasks in a Cisco DevNet project? Your answer should be, Ansible roles are a way to organize and structure automation tasks. In a Cisco DevNet project, Ansible roles allow for modular organization of playbooks, making it easier to manage and reuse automation tasks. Roles help in maintaining a clean and structured project directory. The next question is, explain the role of GitLab runners in a CI-CD pipeline and how they execute jobs in a Cisco DevNet project. Your answer should be, GitLab runners are agents that run jobs defined in CI-CD pipelines in a GitLab. In a Cisco DevNet project, GitLab runners execute tasks such as building, testing and deploying code changes. They play a critical role in automating the CI-CD process and executing pipeline stages. Next one. How can Docker Hub be utilized in a Cisco DevNet environment for managing containerized applications? Your answer should be Docker Hub is a cloud-based registry service for managing container images. In a Cisco DevNet environment, Docker Hub can be used to store and share container images. Developers can push and pull images from Docker Hub, streamlining the management of containerized application. If you are preparing for any CCNA-based certification, kindly refer to the link given in the description for the list of valid and updated questions and answers. Moving to our next question. Discuss the advantages and challenges of using GitFlow as a branching model in Cisco DevNet project. Your answer should be, GitFlow is a branching model that provides a structured approach to branching and releasing in Git. In a Cisco DevNet project, GitFlow offers advantages like provisioning and parallel development. Challenges may include additional complexity and potential overhead in smaller projects. The question is, what is Swagger or OpenAPI and how do they contribute to API development and documentation in a Cisco DevNet environment? Your answer should be, Swagger and OpenAPI are specifications for building APIs and generating documentation. In a Cisco DevNet environment, these tools contribute by providing a standardized way to describe APIs, making it easier for developers to understand and interact with them. They promote consistency and ease of integration. If you are preparing for any Cisco based certification, you can download the complete list of valid, tried, and tested question and answer from the link provided in the description. Thank you.